I celebrate in 2022. Pretty good. Bye, fast. Now, out of curiosity, how many of us saw the ball drop? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, more more than what I thought. I, I didn't, unfortunately. I just kind of crashed. But yeah, I'm, I'm good to see so many people here. Thank you. Thank you for coming out and welcome to our annual uh, lesson and carol ser uh, service. It's a chance to have our youth read the lessons and then to sing all the carols that we don't normally get a chance to sing at uh, Christmas time. So. As uh, tonight's service, uh, I got a couple announcements I'd like to make uh, concerning uh, usher list. I was told to, uh, the usher list is still open and they're looking for any more volunteers that want to volunteer to be an usher or you would like to have your name removed. Please see L and L, that is Louise and Lois, if you haven't got picked up on that one. So if you want to be added or deleted, please see uh, Louise and Lois. And unfortunately, I was contacted last night. We had uh, one of our members uh, was went to the hospital, Tim Motter. Uh, the word that I got, he has difficulty breathing. Uh, they're still running several tests on him and everything. And as far as cardiac goes, uh, they think it, they haven't found anything in cardiac or anything, so they're going to do more tests today. But he's in the osteopathic hospital. So let's keep uh, him and uh, Lori and the family in our prayers. Uh, today is uh, Lesson and Carol, and then Pastor's on vacation. So when he comes back, which won't be till Thursday morning, he'll be back in the office, uh, any kind of pastoral needs that uh, need, uh, please uh, call uh, Pastor Goffrey. His number is in the bulletin. Uh, I won't go over all the ball the announcement, but next Sunday is a big Sunday in our parish. There's an awful lot going on. Next Sunday, along with worship, we have going to include uh, uh, recognition of newly baptized and installation of new council members, along with the celebration of Holy Communion. So that is next Sunday. And then we have mutual ministry that meets and a monthly meeting of the women of the ELCA, and then the Congregational Council monthly meeting will meet that evening. I trust that you just read the rest of the announcements that are in your bulletin. There's an awful lot there, and just jot them down in your calendar book. So with that being said, we'll begin our service with Judy.
The people who walked in darkness have seen the great light. Those who dwell in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. Today Christ is born, hallelujah, hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And let us pray. Eternal Father, you gave your incarnate Son the holy name of Jesus to be a sign of our salvation. Plant in every heart the love of the Savior of the world. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The first lesson comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 through 25. Now the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quickly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus.
The second lesson comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that, in, that a census should be taken in the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, a time came for Mary to, Mary, the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloth and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cl cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them and about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. The third lesson comes from Luke chapter 2, 21 to 40. After eight days had passed, it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. When the time came for the purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord, 
and they have offered sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in, that sh in the child Jesus to, to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all the peoples, a light for elevation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people in Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that, so that, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband seven years, years after her marriage. Then as a, wid as a widow to the age of 84, she never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came and began to praise God and to speak about the, the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town, Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God of the of God was upon him. Here ends the reading.
The fourth reading comes from Luke chapter 2, verses 41 through 42. Every year, Jesus' parents went down to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple's court, sitting among the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed by his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, son, why have you treated me like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me, he asked. Did you, know, did you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and favor with God and man.
The fifth lesson is from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at, at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of, of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and, and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And have, having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.
Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated. And he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they were no more. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord suddenly appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who are seeking the child's life are dead. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. But when he heard that Achilles was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there. And after being warned in a dream, he went away to the district of Galilee. There he made his home in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He will be called a Nazaronian. Here ends the reading.
The seventh lesson comes from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John t testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his f fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God the only Son who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. Here ends the reading. Boy, we are truly blessed to have such great young people. We are certainly in good hands here at St. John's. And Judy, of course, thank you so much for all your plan. So now let us confess our faith together in the new creed. 
We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God, who has created as created, who has come in Jesus, who we're made flesh, to reconcile and new, who works in us and others. By the Spirit, we trust in God. <laughs> We live in respect to the creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice, proclaim life and death and life beyond death. And I alone. Thanks be to God. Last words of our Lord with our morning offering, and then we'll have music by another fine young man, Hoyt. All right. I'll let you get by first. <laughs> Boy gets a guitar and starts writing songs. About whiskey and women and getting to stone. He got all three at the first show we played. The town said, I don't think Jesus done it that way. Boy moves to city, lives fast and goes hard. Starts chasing the devil through honky tonk bars, ignoring the voice in his head that said, I don't think Jesus done it that way. If I was him, I'd say to hell with you, ain't no helping you. Find someone else to give heaven to. I'm telling you, I'd shame me, I'd blame me, I'd make me mad for my mistake. Oh, but I don't think Jesus does it that way. to turn to he figures he'll pray cause what else could he do he says I wish you would have woken me up an easier way but I don't think Jesus does it that way if I was him I'd say to hell with you ain't no helping you Find someone else to give heaven to. I'm telling you, I'd shame me, I'd blame me, I'd make me pay for my mistake. Oh, but I don't think Jesus does it that way.
world likes to rear back and throw a few stones so boy wants to throw a few stones of his own lord knows i ain't perfect in my place but i don't think jesus done it that way are y'all sure that jesus done it that way Let us rise as we pray. With wonder and thanksgiving for Christ coming into the world, we pray for the church, the life of the earth, and the whole human family. Holy God, you have given the church your holy name of Jesus. And in him we are your beloved children. Unite us in the mission through the power of the Spirit. Make us worthy of the name we bear, the name in which we pray, God of grace. Renewing God, restore your glory to the earth. Awaken humanity to our kindership with all living things that depend to your position. Teach us to care for the earth and safeguard the treasures for those who care after us. God of grace, peacemaking God, reconcile the nation, lead those in conflict into negotiation, especially in areas of religious and ethnic strife and acts of aggression and violence carried out in your name. God of grace, Delivering God, rescue our siblings in any danger, especially in communities where disaster and disease threaten. Move those in authority to respond with speed and compassion. We pray for the safety of your first responders, healthcare workers, and all who protect us. God of grace. Healing God. Raise up any who are bowed down with illness or sorrow this day. Deepen our care and concern for one another. We lift to you all who are undergoing transition in relationships, occupation, living situation, or health condition. Especially we pray this day for Barb, Cindy, Judy, Timmy Anders, Jane, Carol, Cora, Joyce, Tim Mother, and those who we lift aloud and name silently before you. God of grace. Saving God. Redeem us and grant us eternal peace. We give thanks for the faithful departed who now rest in your undying love. May known to us in Jesus, our Emmanuel, God of grace. Pondering the mystery of eternal love, may flesh in Christ Jesus 
We commend all of whom we pray to the mercy of God. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth that is heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. That we forgive those who trespass. <coughs> As our awesome you are. Uh, the kingdom and uh, and now may God and Mary brought to earth birth carry us into new abundant life Amen. may the word that Joseph cradled in his arms and fold us with love strength to all Amen. may the word that angels proclaimed in song bring harmony to our world and the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit upon us, remain us with us always. Amen. And now go in peace. Thanks. The word may flesh in with us. Well, we will. Thanks be to God. And now go tell it on the mountain.